Hey everyone, Sam here. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how you can interact with different parts of your Lottie animation. So here we have some text, the sad and happy emoji, all in one Lottie animation. And if I hover over one of these emojis, the background color is gonna change and it's gonna play the emoji. So here we go. So hovering over this emoji has made our background blue. And if I hover over this emoji, our background is green. And so I'm gonna show you how you can detect hovering or clicking or whatever event you want when it happens on a specific part of your Lottie animation. Let's get started. So inside of After Effects, I've got my text and my two emojis and they're in the same comp. So that's how you know that like everything was inside the same comp and it wasn't just two separate lot animations. These are gonna be exported into one single lot animation. And so here I've got the first part where the crying emoji is playing and then the second part where the happy emoji is playing. So if you want to detect when a user interacts with different parts of your lot animation, you need to define IDs to your layers in After Effects. And as you can see here, I've got hash sad and hash happy. And these are gonna act as IDs so we can actually um, get these elements inside of JavaScript. So you've got to write them as you would in HTML, giving them an ID uh, with this format. So if, for example, you wanted to go even into even more detail, and for example, um, detect when you, I don't know, clicked on the emoji's eye for some reason, you would like go in here and on the face, let's just say on the face, you would name that hash face. And then you could get element by ID and get the face. And so when you hover it over the face, it would do it. But here we're just gonna do the whole emoji, emoji because that makes sense. So the whole emoji is gonna be called hash sad and happy. And I'm gonna show you the JavaScript afterwards to detect the different parts. So we do that, you name your different parts. And in this example, I wanted it so that if I hovered over the emoji, it would play it. And this could be done easier if like you had, um, if you separate, separated out these emojis into different Lotties and just detected hover onto the Lottie and played it. But I wanted to demonstrate it this way. So it's going to change the background, but it's also gonna play the emoji. But because we're in a single Lottie animation, um, I needed to separate the different parts out. And so the first segment is for the sad emoji and the second one for the happy emoji. And you could in JavaScript just do uh, play segments and then frame zero to 206, play that part when you hover over the sad emoji. And if you hover the happy emoji, play 206 to 417. Um, I went an even easier way and defined name markers. Uh, I've got a video on name markers on my channel. So if you're interested in name markers, go check that out. But um, yeah, I've just named it sad and, and the second one should be happy. So like that, I can just go to and play sad, happy, and it will play that part. But the point of this video name your layers as you would in HTML with HTML IDs. So using hash, sorry, hash your name, hash your name. All right, export that out into a Lottie. And then we will now go into the JavaScript code and see how we can detect hovering over different parts. So you're gonna want to start by loading your animation up from your preferred destination path. I'm just using it from Lottie files. 
and just leaving autoplay and leave false. So how do you go about detecting if the user hovered over the happy face? Well, you would first define an event listener to listen that the animation has loaded. So we're going to do anim.add event listener. We're going to do DOM loaded. And then inside here, we're going to define some more stuff. So now that our animation is loaded, we're going to add an event listener. Well, first of all, we're actually going to grab the face emoji. So let's just do happy equals document get element by ID and happy because you named it that way in After Effects or whatever you named it. Um, so here, yep, happy and sad. So there we go. Let's get happy and let's get sad whilst we're at it. So there we go. And happy, we want to add an event listener. So event listener, I'm going to use mouse on, mouse on. And when that happens, for the moment, let's just say page dot style dot background color background color equals green. Okay. So now if I hover the happy emoji, the background should turn green. Okay, it did not. No errors. Page dot style dot background color. Dom loaded. Mouse on, is it mouse on? Mouse over. Okay, ah, that's what I wanted mouse enter, that's why. Mouse enter, there we go. And so there we go. We're detecting hovering over our smiling emoji. And let's just copy that and paste that. And do the same for sad. And let's just put it blue if you hover the sad emoji. So here we go, blue, green, blue, green, there we go. So we're detecting hovering over two different parts of the same Lottie animation. And for a little bonus, I am going to call anim.go to and play. So this is how you play a named marker. Um, and let's just do happy and then play the sad segment if you hover over the sad, emo sad emoji. And there we go. It's playing the emoji thanks to our name markers and it's changing the background color. So there you have it. How to detect interactions on different parts of your Lottie animations. And obviously this can be any event, mouse over, mouse leave, click, and then you have access to your JavaScript. So you can do whatever you want, play a different part of an animation, for example, go to a different page, change the text in your Lottie animation, uh, like I did in my previous video, if you're interested in that. So yeah, it's up to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.